After Ukrainian army attack on Kursk of Russia, German government has announced the delivery of a new military aid package to Ukraine. It includes short- and medium-range Iris-T air defense systems and Leopard tanks, stated German Major General Christian Freudering. According to him, Ukraine will receive two short- and medium-range air defense systems, Iris-T, by December 2024. Additionally, Ukraine will get 16 self-propelled artillery systems of two types and other weapons. Germany plans to transfer to Ukraine, two IRIS-M air defense batteries and two IRIS-T SLS systems, 10 Jeopard anti-aircraft systems, 12 PZH-2000 self-propelled howitzers and 4 Zuzana-2 self-propelled howitzers, RCH-155 self-propelled howitzer, about 30 Leopard 1A5 tanks, 400 MRAPs, logistic transport, drones and anti-drone systems. 556 Malawi and Kwacha's assault rifles, medical supplies, a field hospital. Germany is one of the leaders in providing military assistance to Ukraine. It was previously reported that Germany announced the transfer of an additional Patriot air defense system to Ukraine. According to the German defense minister, Ukraine will receive a quarter of Germany's Patriot reserves. However, Berlin refuses to provide Ukraine with long-range Taurus missiles. The last time Germany provided assistance to Ukraine was in early June of this year, which included Iris-T air defense systems, HIMARS multiple launch rocket systems, and Leopard 1 tanks. In the Kursk region, the Ukrainian armed forces are using Challenger 2 tanks, which were supplied by Great Britain. This was reported by the Sky News TV channel. It is noted that Britain supplied Kiev with a total of 14 such tanks. Sky News has no information about how many Challenger 2 tanks were used by the Ukrainian armed forces during the raid into the Kursk region. These vehicles are operated by servicemen of the 82nd Airborne Assault Brigade of the Ukrainian armed forces, the TV channel reports, citing a source. In total, 14 such combat vehicles were provided to Kiev. However, according to military journalist Alexander Zamovsky, the Ukrainian armed forces currently have seven Challenger 2 out of 14, the rest were destroyed by the Russian armed forces. The Times also reported, citing a representative of the UK Ministry of Defense, that the British government had given Ukraine permission to use the supplied weapons for operations in the Kursk region. This permission covers all types of weapons, with the exception of the long-range Storm Shadow missiles. Since February 2022, the UK has provided Ukraine with approximately 9.7 billion US dollars in military aid. In addition to Challenger 2 tanks and Storm Shadow missiles, the British side has transferred AS-90 self-propelled howitzers, M270 multiple launch rocket systems and NLAW anti-tank missile systems to Kiev. Earlier, Russian war correspondents reported the destruction of a Challenger 2 tank in the border zone of the Kursk region. The strike was carried out using a Lancet 3 Kamikaze drone, which led to the detonation of the tank's ammunition.